right, good afternoon. So today I want to describe to you an equation that you've probably already used for your um, osmosis and diffusion laboratory, and you're going to use it again here when you're working with the colorimeter, looking at standard curves, building a standard curve, as well as using kinetics. And so the equation in question is right here, C1 V1 equals C2 V2. And C stands for concentration and V stands for volume. And the reason that this is so important is that you're gonna start with a stock solution. And in today's, and really uh, even the last week's lab, the concentration of the stock volume will be 0 0.01 molar. Now, before we go any further, let's make sure that we know what a mole is. So a mole is a number. It's the simplest way to describe it is a number. It's Avogadro's number, which is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And so if we have molarity, what we have is the percentage of a mole. So we can have half of a mole, we can have a whole mole, we can have two moles, okay? And so it's the percentage of a mole in a liter of solution. And so that's what molarity is by definition. And you can look up molarity to make sure you know what it is. But when, in our case, we have a 0 0.01 molar stock solution. And what we need is we need 40 milliliters, and you can see right here, 40 milliliters of a 0 0.005 molar solution. And the question is, how are we going to do that? Well, let's take a look. We can move our equation so that we have the question mark, or we could make it X or some other a variable, but I just used a question mark. Um, we wanna know, we wanna get all our numbers on one side. So notice if we take 0 0.005 molar times the volume, which is 40 milliliters, and we divide it by 0 0.01 molar, which is our stock solution, we've got everything on one side of the equation and we can do that. Now, when you do this kind of math, you guys already know that you have to pay attention to units. So molarity is a unit, that's concentration, and milliliters is a volume, okay? And so you can see here that I've crossed out molarity, and so what we're gonna wind up with on the other side of our uh, equal sign is milliliters, which is volume, which is what we're looking for. How much of the stock do we need to add to water in order to get the concentration we're after. So let's go ahead and do the math and see what's gonna happen. If we do the math, we get 20 milliliters. So we need 20 milliliters of stock solution in order to get the concentration we want, but we're not all the way done because we have to mix our solution. And so we take 20 milliliters of our stock solution and we add it to 20 milliliters of water. Why? Because we originally wanted 40 milliliters of solution. And that gives us the concentration we want and the volume we want. So we need to make sure that we know how to do this and we can step it down. We can say we want a 0 0.005 and then a 0 0.006 and a 0 0.007 molar solution. It's called a series dilution. If you don't know how to do that, you need to make sure you do by the time you're done this week because skills test will be coming up very soon. So have a nice afternoon and I'll see you again in the next video.